Amen. Amen now. Praise God forevermore. He said this. He said, it is God that gives the increase. Now here is the, the, here's the thing. Only God can change a person's life. Only God can cause this, the seed that's been sown. Like he said, I've sowed, Apollos is watered. He came along talking about it and watered that word. He said, but only God can cause that to grow. And if you took God out of the picture, nobody would grow. Nothing would happen. Zero. I don't care how good a speaker he is. I don't care what he talked about. If it wasn't by the power of God causing that seed to grow, it'd not grow. This world would die today. Everybody would be starved out in a little while. There'd be nothing. Amen. The farmers could plant and plant. Nothing would grow. It'd be dead. Woo! God deserves the glory, don't he? So thank God for good preachers. Thank God for good teachers and good singers and good church meetings and all this kind of thing. Thank God for it. But you better thank God himself for causing you to grow, for causing you to make it, for causing you to be healed and delivered and free. God gets the glory. So he says, neither, verse 7, so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither... He that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. So it's only him. It's only him. Now he that, he that planteth and he that watereth are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are labors together with God. With God. Somebody say with him. With him. Now let me tell you something. You can't be with him and not be for him. You can't be with him and say things that he don't say. You just can't do that. The only seed that we're going to should be planting is what he said. Then when somebody comes along and waters, the only water we should give is what he gave. And then therefore, he can, he can take and make that grow. He ain't going to make the other stuff grow now. That's just old man's ideals and a lot of times... Excuse me, a lot of times just so religious ideas. He won't grow. That ain't going to grow. God's not going to grow that stuff. Now you might get steeped up in it. You might get your feet planted in it. But God ain't causing it. Now, now glory to God. But the real seed and the real water, and that's what Paul was doing. Paul brought the real word. Apollos did too. And God caused that to grow. Amen. Amen. Well, that's, that's deeper than it may seem. So we're laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. Mm. Mm. That's good, ain't it? Glory to God. Amen. Now, you know something? This kind of bears a question. We there's a lot of stuff in the church today, and um, people have this problem sometimes with tongues, talking in tongues. Most of the time, it's always no offense to anyone, but most of the time, it's always related to something. Fast, something loud, and you've been a pretty big injustice in some places done because of people not knowing some things, and it's caused a lot of people to say, "Man, I don't know about that. I don't." If the Holy Ghost makes me act like that, I don't want to act like that. Well, I would say if that's if that's you today, I'd say this to you. The Holy Ghost won't make you act anyway. 
He won't make you do nothing. Now that's the truth. Now some, the way some people act, you think, you think different. You know, that's the Holy Ghost. Nah. Nah, I've got some things to say here if I can say them carefully and, and in the right way. Could you speak in tongues and be carnal? Could you speak? Yeah, you know, could I'm on and list list this question now. Could you speak in tongues and be carnal? Now most most people would answer that no. But the right answer to that is yes. Yes, you could. Oh yes. Amen. Now. For some reason or another, well, not for some reason, for this reason right here and many other reasons, the Corinthian church was known as a carnal church. 